In this video, we want to begin talking about the key concepts or key definitions related to statistics. And what we want to talk about is this idea of a population data set versus what's called a sample data set. So the, the concepts here is going to be the difference between a population and a sample as it relates to statistics. Okay, so here are some key definitions here of this concept, these concepts of what a population is and what a sample is. So a population is the collection of all items of interest under investigation. So the way I like to describe a population data set, it is complete data. Okay, you have all the possible data values. An example of a population data set would be if you were to grab the uh, Wall Street Journal and open up the, the stock, the list of all the stocks on the New York Stock Exchange, that would be an example of a population data set because it includes all the items under investigation. All right, so now we're going to begin putting some numbers to things. And this subtle difference is really important between a population and a sample. We're going to let the capital letter N represent the population size. Okay, so N is how many ever total objects or total values there are in this data set. Now what a sample is, is a sample is an observed subset of the population. Okay, so it's not complete information. It's just a smaller amount taken. Okay, and this is where the idea of a sample comes from. Sampled or taken from a population. And we let lowercase n represent the sample size. All right, so data can be thought of values measured or categories recorded on individual entities of interest. So like data is the values that you record when you take that sample from the population or the values of the population themselves. Okay, so population, full data, capital N represents the population size or how many items are in the population, data values in the population. A sample is a subset of the population and lowercase n represents the sample size. Now we're going to introduce these two topics called a parameter and a statistic. So a parameter is a specific characteristic of a population. Okay, so think of the way parameters are. Parameters are taken or calculated from a population. Parameters come from complete information. Generally in this class, uh, parameters are going to be represented by Greek letters. Um, we'll use mu and sigma a lot in this class, uh, but that'll come a little bit later. So parameters are values calculated from a population. And a statistic is a specific characteristic of a sample. So a statistic comes from a sample. All right, so to kind of wrap our ideas around a population and a sample and a parameter and a statistic, I have this kind of silly example here. Okay, so suppose you take the letters of the English alphabet. Okay, so there's 26 letters of the English alphabet. And just imagine, I know it seems goofy, but imagine each letter is paid a salary based on how much it's used. Like A makes a lot of money because you use the letter A a lot. Z doesn't make much money because how often do you say words like zoo or zephyr, okay? When you, take, when you want to investigate all the letters, all 26 letters, this is a population because it's the complete values, okay? And if you wanted to take the average salary here of these 26 letters, this would be called a parameter because it's a value calculated from an entire um, population. All right, now suppose instead you just randomly select a few letters. Okay, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine letters right here. Okay, if you were to calculate this, or let me back up, this, these nine letters represent a sample because they're a subset of the entire population. And if you were to calculate the average income of these letters, this would be called a statistic. Okay, so population, parameters, a sample gets statistics. Okay, subtle difference between the two. All right, here's another idea to see it. Suppose you have this town, okay, and all these dot rep dots represent individuals in the town, and you wanted to estimate um, the average height of people in this town, okay? If you were to sample, or if you were to take, not sample, if you were to take all the people in the town, record their heights, and calculate the average height of that, that would be a parameter. But instead, suppose you were to take of the entire town, randomly select or sample, okay, just these four individuals right here, because this is a subset of the population, right, it's called a sample, and if you were to take the average height of these individuals here, okay, that would be a statistic. All right, um, so what are some like real world applications of this idea of a population and a statistic? Um, so th what I have to talk about is survey research and polling. This is a very common common way that you can see the, the, how you use statistics and relate it back to a population. So political polling provides an example of inferential statistics, so how we draw conclusions from data. 
All right, so imagine um, you want to interview people and ask them about their preferences for voting. Okay, so interviewing everyone of voting age in the United States on their voting preferences would be expensive and completely unrealistic. You can't do it. So statisticians who want to gauge the sentiment of an entire population of U.S. voters can afford to interview only a carefully chosen group of few thousand voters. Okay, so this group is called a sample of the population. So let me give you an example of a, of a, a political poll or a survey research. Okay, so I, I live in uh, New Jersey, and my wife actually runs the Rutgers Eagleton Poll. She's, the, she's a pollster at Rutgers University. And she recently did a poll that said the following. It's from, I have a link here to the actual press, relief, press release. Two-thirds of New Jerseyans feel the state is moving in the right pace to reopen. Okay, so now here's my question for you. This is what the, the, the headline of the poll says. Is, was my wife able to call every single person in New Jersey and ask them if they thought New Jersey was moving in the right pace, okay, to reopen? Um, this is this um, poll was related to the um, COVID uh, pandemic, okay, about reopening the state post-pandemic. Um, no, she can't call every every person in New Jersey. So if you dig through here, here's what happened. She took a sample. So these results are from a statewide poll of 1,502 adults, okay, contacted by live callers on landline and cell phones from April 22nd to May 2nd. So what my wife did was she took a sample, okay, and the sample size here, the lowercase n, is the 1,502 people she called, okay. This two-thirds is a statistic because she calculated from a sample. And what we're going to do in this class is we're going to use sample information to say something about the entire population. So, it's, so she took this 1,500 people and she drew a conclusion and extrapolated that and said it about all the people who live in New Jersey. And the, roughly the population size, N here, is 8,882,000 people who live in New Jersey. So a subtle difference. Okay, we use statistics and samples when it's impossible to collect all the information about a population or we can't know um, all the values in a population. And that's what this course is going to be um, leaning towards or, or driving towards, okay? How we use sample information to say something about a tire population or how we use statistics to estimate the values of parameters.